Hello. Today we want to show you how you can tuck away your confidential files into encrypted zips so that no one can access them on your Mac. In other words, we'll show how to protect Mac OS zip with password. There are two ways to solve the task. Let's start with the easiest one. If you have Setapp on your Mac, you can install a tool called Better Zip. It works with all popular compression formats and lets you create passwords for your compressed files. And even if you don't set any passwords, Better Zip has strong encryption enabled by default, which is a big plus and a great way to avoid data theft. To password protect a zip file, Mac app Better Zip asks you to password protect itself. That's how secure it is. Go to Preferences, Passwords, and set a master password. Now, you can add passwords for your files. Usually one is enough. You can then set the app to automatically try the password on all your archives. That's it. Now let's zip. This is easy. Drag and drop files onto Better Zip and click Save. And here's the archive. And one more thing. How often do you edit your archives? Most people don't know it's even possible. We love Better Zip because of this great perk. It lets you view and change files within a zip folder without damaging compression. Another great tool for your MacWord Compress with password tasks is Archiver. Same drag and drop approach, maybe even easier to navigate. Let us show you how to compress and password protect with Archiver so you get the idea. Here it is, a minimalist interface. We drag and drop files into it. Select Archive, choose the format, then check the box next to Encrypt and set the password. We love it because you don't have to dig into preferences. It's all done from Archiver's interface with a few clicks. Now, let's check the archive. Password protection is on. Awesome. To protect zip with password Macway, meaning without installing any apps, you can use Terminal. We should warn you, it's not super easy and you'll hardly want to do it every day. But if Terminal is the only solution for you, go for it. Here's how it works. Open Terminal. Type in CD and the location of the file or folder you want to compress and protect. So if you want to add several files, you should prepare a folder with these files in advance. Let's say it's CD Desktop. Don't worry, we'll put the terminal commands into the description of this so you can copy them from there. Next, type in another command with the name of your file or folder. Here it is. Enter password. Verify. Done. Here's the encrypted folder on desktop. And yes, you've guessed it. Terminal requires you to go through this process with each file and folder you want to protect separately. That's why, if you have a chance to protect your Mac zip with password using apps like Archiver or Better Zip, you'll definitely save a lot of time. One way or another, we wish you secure zipping and unzipping. Thanks for watching. See you next time.